You can never whip these boys if you don't keep you and them separate. I found that out in Birmingham. You've got to keep the white and the black separate. I'm a child of the Jim Crow era, and um, um, that, uh, when I try to explain that to young people, uh, and most particularly my, my children, it's hard to sort of give them a real uh, uh, sense of what it was like to grow up where many of the rules of the nation precluded us as black people from participating. That the vestiges of the Civil War were strong, and the intent of a large part of this nation was to keep us in our place and not allow us the opportunity to go forward and, and realize our, our personal dreams or our dreams for our people. With the impressions of unequal treatment serving as a daily reminder, Fletcher Wiley learned at an early age that responsibility was something to be embraced, that opportunity was something to be shared. Every black person who opened doors in those days had that kind of uh, sense of responsibility some people viewed it as a pressure, but it wasn't really a pressure. It was an honor to, to represent our people and, and open some doors. And, and, and uh, if you had, uh, what, which is what most of us had, the home training to be able to survive those situations, we knew we could do it and doing it in a way that, that, that would make our parents proud. But also, uh, as a student, I tried to do, you know, to be as, twice as good just so that uh, uh, I wouldn't reflect badly on the race. Understanding the importance of his gifts, Fletcher worked hard in school and was tapped as the first black to enroll in a program for gifted learners. His academic prowess paid off when he recorded another milestone as the first black from Indiana to attend the United States Air Force Academy, where his exploits on the football field earned him the nickname that he carries to this day, Flash. He also became the first ever graduate of the Academy to be awarded the prestigious Fulbright Scholarship I uh, um, was there to study international relations. Um, I was a pretty good student in French at the Air Force Academy, and uh, I had expected to uh, do well once I got there. But it was only when I got there that I realized that my, my uh, skills in French pertain to the, the uh, written word, but not to the spoken word, so I, so I couldn't understand what the hell they were saying. A defining series of firsts, coupled with his time spent abroad, not only gave Flash a global perspective, but helped set the stage for what would become a lifetime of service. Flash Wiley is truly the Renaissance man. I mean, he's a lawyer, he's a businessman, he's a uh, community leader, he's a civics leader, a civic leader. So Flash has uh, had his hands in a lot of different pots over the course of time. And everything he seems to touch, he's like King Midas. Everything he touches turns to gold. He's been very, very successful. But when I think of Flash, and when I think about him in terms of his contributions, it's not necessarily limited to Flash the lawyer, or Flash the businessman, or Flash the community leader, or Flash the head of the Chamber of Commerce. I think of him as a person who's constantly giving to other people. Flash probably is one of the most inclusive guys, inclusive people that I have ever met. Um, he really focuses on making sure that all the people around him at every, any given point in time know each other um, and know each other and what each does so that the resources that each brings to whatever table he's sitting at can be shared. Um, and I think that's really unique. The ability to connect people and help them gain access has become a hallmark of Flash's life. His term as chairman of the Greater Boston Chamber of Commerce afforded him an important platform to promote both his civic and personal interests. My becoming a, uh, the first uh, black chairman of the Chamber of Commerce was a reflection of the business community's interest in addressing a very real racial problem in Boston. It impacted uh, pejoratively their ability to recruit talent and maintain talent, uh, and, um, but also there are some people that care viscerally about the issues. They want the United States uh, to live up to its ideals. To paraphrase what used to be uh, a famous phrase, uh, this isn't your father's chamber of commerce. Uh, and under Flash's leadership, 
among the initiatives was to create uh, a women's network, a forum so that women had an opportunity to get together, women had an opportunity to hear from role models, and uh, uh, that was all begun uh, under FLASH. Over the years, there, are, there have been times where um, he has gone out of his way to promote a mentee. Um, and to give them that, that opportunity. Um, not because there was really anything in it for him, but he knew that that was the right thing for that mentee. And, and at the end of the day, it's, it's also it's about um, none, none of us succeed individually. Um, all of us need someone to uh, be our champion and our advocate and also be, be that person who gives you a kick in the pants when you need a kick in the pants. Um, and that all he's ever asked for in return is that next guy down does the same thing that he did. From his partnership in what was the largest minority dominant firm in the Commonwealth, Bud, Riley & Wiley, to his legal and economic development involvements, each of Flash's experiences has served to widen the path of access and opportunity. Flash is, a, you know, he's a natural leader. So I think one of the things that's very important for us is we need leadership amongst our partners in terms of these types of issues. But we also need leadership in terms of next generations. And one of the things that, you know, I've, I've liked about Flash is, uh, in particularly respect about him, is, is we, you know, we've got a lot of people who will sell to one audience and not to the other, be effective with one audience and not the other. And, you know, part of the key with Flash, as we said, he's a compelling personality, as everybody knows. And that compelling personality um, gives him an ability to relate to a broad range of people. To get somebody who can come in and be effective with our partnership, but at the same time be able to work with some of our younger lawyers um, and give those younger lawyers uh, a sense of somebody who's a mentor to them, somebody who's a role model to them, somebody who's going to help them navigate what is sometimes not all that obvious in terms of how to achieve success in an organization like ours. He's, he was able to do all of those things. Flash's list of accomplishments are legendary. Lawyer, mentor, business leader, husband, and father. But. Earlier in his life, he was a bit conflicted trying to decide on a career path. I decided I didn't know where I was going, but that I would go to law school kind of as a placeholder because, you know, I, I figured I could do okay in law. Uh, and uh, maybe uh, if I went to law school, a couple things would happen. W uh, one is uh, m my, uh, my role in the civil rights movement would be made clear. Uh, but also, and equally important, would be that perhaps I could be discovered and be the sixth temptation uh, and, and, and do the rhythm and blues thing, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I mean, when, when we talk about his accomplishments, his professional accomplishments, certainly I think the, um, the Air Force Academy is, I think, really impressive professional accomplishment, but really his greatest accomplishment was when he was 60, he threw himself a birthday party. And it was actually the second time he had done this. It was called the Flash Bash, and this was Flash Bash 2. And he uh, performed with the Temptations. And that, I mean, I, my mom and I were saying, like, we don't even need to bring him home. Like, he can die right now. He will be a happy man because he is on stage with the Temptations right now. Like, there's nothing else in life that he wants. Um, you know, I think, I mean, yeah, that, that's definitely, that was his real calling. He's a person that, who has credibility. And if you are a professional, particularly if you're a black professional, you have to have that reputation or else all else is lost. And he enjoys that reputation. A person of integrity, a person of trust, a person of credibility, a person of reliability. That's Flash Wiley.